Okay, so now that you've set up everything you need to, um, you're ready to send it to render all of the frames in one go. Um, it's a really good idea at this point that you, oops, you do a test render. So you just go to the render view and hit render and let it completely finish with all the full quality settings that we've done. And um, then you will know exactly what you're gonna get. So before you send it, you know it's going to work. Um, if you do that, you might need to come in and uncheck the output denosing AOVs to be able to see it and then turn that back on when you've checked it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change from the modeling menu or whatever menu you're in to the rendering one and then under render now we have some two options here we can go render batch render but um that's going to render with a watermark unless you've got a license for maya so we're going to um use render sequence this won't render with a watermark so we're going to open the little um options box and make sure that all render enabled layers are is ticked uh, this will make sure that it renders our ambient occlusion as well as our beauty layer and then we can hit render sequence and close and what my is going to do is it's going to start and it's telling you here that it's rendering uh, where it's rendering and it's rendering frame one exr and you can actually see here in the render view uh, how your render is doing and you can actually see down here as well a progress percentage of the rendering of this frame and another thing that you can do just to double check that everything is working is in your file browser you can go to where your Maya project is and go into the images folder and we can see that Maya's created a master layer folder and if I go in there it's created my rendering demo version 5 and it started by creating my frame 1 EXR so I'm really happy that's rendering where I want it to and it's started to render and we can see that it's on 8% um, here so now we just have to trust in Maya and our PCs and leave it rendering and um, if you note down before you hit render sequence how long a frame is taken you can roughly work out how long it's going to take so I think mine's taking uh, 11 and a half minutes so this is going to take about 19 hours to render so I'm just going to have to leave this overnight rendering once your first frame has completed um, you can preview it um, in Photoshop or you can open it in After Effects and again just double checking that it looks as you expect it to look before you leave Maya going for you know 20 hours or however long um, my first frame's done it looks as i expect so i will just leave maya alone now to do its thing and render out my sequence